Hello and welcome to the Grapeseed Official Podcast. Take a Step has made a comeback, at least for one episode, thanks to one of the answers in last week's Teacher Says Podcast. In it, Will mentioned a few half-written, unsent emails in his inbox asking me to cover The Hayride, a story from Unit 14. So, Will, here is your early Christmas present. Will mentioned that it was really difficult to explain the concept of what a hayride was, especially for his group of Japanese students near a major city in Japan. I don't think this is exclusive to just this particular story. Take Unit 10 as an example. There we have playing catch and the ball game, two stories revolving around baseball. Depending on the country you're in, baseball might be a completely unknown thing to your students. So, what to do? Do you just show up exposure one and take a gamble that students will be able to figure it out? You could, but it would probably be a bit more effective to do some prep work initially. These recommendations will be tailored around the hayride, but you could use the same general thinking for other examples. Can you recreate it? Obviously, we aren't talking about renting an actual wagon and a horse to hitch it to. Do you have access to hay or something similar? Is there a chair with wheels that you can use? You can throw some string or rope around the chair, bead the horse, and pull a lucky student around the classroom on your own mini hayride. If you can't recreate it, can you find some pictures of it? Maybe you print out a picture of hay, a hayride set up without people on it, and another with people riding on it. Extra points if you have done it in the past and have personal pictures. If not, Google is always there to help us. If you have zero time to prep extras, what vocabulary and expressions can you use to explain the concept and convey the meaning of the language in the story? These three are in a priority order. Recreating the situation would be massively impactful and memorable for students, while the others are less so. This neatly brings us to the general reminder of being mindful of your pacing. If you spend 20 minutes of class time pulling students around and explaining what a hayride is to them, you would have been better off just reading the story and moving on. As always, efficiency is the way to go. That takes care of the general recommendations for how to introduce foreign concepts like these in the classroom. Let's get into learning objectives and quick checks. The quick checks are pretty standard for where we are in the overall Grapeseed program here in Unit 14. We progress from seeing if students are starting to answer questions about the story to getting them to more fully answer questions before having them use the language to talk about themselves. Looking at the learning objectives, we see an emphasis on the word few and prepositions, as well as a focus on getting students to express an opinion about having fun. These are the more specific learning objectives for this component. We also have others like respond to the comments of others. So let's see how these all come to be in the day-to-day -day instructions of the lesson plans. Exposure 1 to the hayride comes right in lesson 1. We focus on the few objectives strongly here, pointing out a few mosquitoes on card 7 after telling the story and then explaining that a few means 2 or 3. If you have the time before your lesson starts here, you could break out your own recreation of a hayride. Or, since this is day one of a new unit, if you have any time in the day or two leading up to starting Unit 14, you could always do it then. Doing it ASAP will help students comprehend the material better and will help set them up for Lesson 2. Here, we ask what the story is about and if students have ever been on hayrides themselves. Take a moment and think about which is more effective. You laying the seeds of comprehension in Lesson 1 or before, and then trying to have this discussion or simply following the lesson plans directly and hoping students have gained enough context and understanding through two readings of the story to be able to participate in the discussion. Just like with the design of Grapeseed itself, more exposure and context is always beneficial. Question time in Lesson 3 comes right back to this. After telling the story while emphasizing the prepositions in it, the lesson plan directs us to ask where Harry was taking his friends, with on a hayride being the answer. This is a good chance to reinforce any gaps in understanding your students have to the concept of a hayride from your teaching the last two episodes. Starting in the next exposure, the focus shifts more to asking questions about the story itself, so you will want to make sure here that the general concept of what is going on in the story is understood. Goodbye, my friends. 
is goodbye. I'm sad to say goodbye. It was a good day, but now I will say goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. Goodbye, everyone.